Yo! Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome to Age of Darkness Final Stand. I enjoyed playing this game yesterday during a massive live stream, and I wanted to play some more today, so welcome back, everybody, as we continue on uh, playing it until it comes out on October 7th, 2021. This game's really cool, dude, and I, um, you know, I had a plan to do a different game today, and unfortunately it fell through, and, well, actually, fortunately it fell yes. through, because now I could play more of this game. I really like this game. Previously, I did, like, a trailer video that was sponsored, and I did a live stream that was sponsored, but uh, I'm back to just play more, because this is actually a really good game that I'm in the mood for now. It combines, of course, elements of, um, yeah, it looks to me like Stronghold with a Scandinavian vibe. You can see some of the buildings here look a little more like uh, Viking-type villages or whatnot. Ready to and, of course, the they are billions, they are billions, they are billions, they are billions. Of course, of course, of course. But there, uh, somebody was saying that uh, during our live stream that this is like a survival yeah. horror-type game, but not like in the Resident My Evil sir. sense. It's kind of more of a city builder game where the map is different every time. We get different heroes and such. At least we will in the future when the game's more complete. So anyway, I'm just, you know, half ass kind of playing this game and, you know, exp experiencing it uh, as best I can from my, uh, you know, previous experiences by playing over and over again. By the way, uh, spoiler alert, we die. I'm, I'm pretty sure we're going to die to death. Uh, I think we got to get through like four waves or so of enemy troops, and this will take probably about like 40 minutes or so at least to get to the third uh, level. Of course, this game has active pause. There's a lot of things I should be doing and whatnot, and if you're backseating, you're totally right. I, there's a hell of a lot I should be doing. To be more effective here, but I really don't care. I just, I just, I, even if I get my ass handed to me in this game, I just love it, dude. Moving this is out. a game that I definitely think everybody at least should add to their wish list, and uh, hopefully it has a demo or something of like, um, I don't know, maybe one level or we something like that, one survival defiance. mode of the same map or, or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, it's going to have a campaign. It's going to have uh, more heroes in the future, and I just think this is a game game that I I just the love. Light I really like this a lot. In fact, They Are Billions was good, but this one somehow, I guess, maybe improved approaches. upon it because of its art style. It really makes me think of Stronghold, and I miss that game. So, Anyway, what I'm doing right now is I'm going around trying to uh, get our troops XP up a little bit. If we get our hero to level 2, then all the troops that are near him will eventually upgrade faster. So we're trying to get higher XP so our troops can eventually... Uh, become more powerful during uh, large sieges, which will come in from every corner of the map via large crystals. Now, I've covered this game a little bit more in depth via the trailer analysis that I said, and also live stream and much more, so I know we're going to gloss over a lot of things here and you might be confused. So after you subscribe and turn on the notification bell, wink, wink, make sure you also check out those other videos too. Hell, they're for free. Go and entertain yourself with a little bit of uh, gameplay on this game before it comes out, and then you'll know what not to do by watching <laughs> by, by watching me. All right, let's go ahead and build ourselves some food huts here. These are not pizza huts. These are food huts. Don't be confused. There we go. They're bountiful, though. Luckily, our troops also active heal, so if we take a lot of damage from attacking, we will also heal it. Hey, we got some good stuff over there, some POI, the point of interest with a lot of good booty there. Unfortunately, our numbers are kind of low, so I don't want to collect that just yet. Uh, storage capacity is low. Night approaches. Nightmare strength and exploration will... Uh, rewards increase at night. Okay. We stand in defiance. Well, we're going to go ahead and uh, hunker down in our base again Ambush now that we found a POI. Guide. Every map, as I mentioned, is different each time that you play. So this could be the greatest map ever created and I could still suck at it due to my lack of experience, or this could be the worst map ever and I could be the best player ever and still have a hard time. Uh, some of the times I've seen people play They Are Billions in speedruns, they'll do um, constant restarting of the game because the game is not giving them the maps that they desire with certain resources within a certain amount of tiles. So that's really a key thing that people kind of keep in mind. Yes. All right, let's get you ladies to uh, eradicate some more. I guess these are like, I think of these as kind of like mutants and zombies. And if you kind of think of creatures from like, um, I'm ready. you know, this is a dark fantasy game, but some of the enemies that you fight are a little bit like they're from uh, Fallout. Prepared. So anyway, uh, there'll be more heroes and stuff in the future. This this is really good. we got some really narrow spots and some good places to build food. Uh, generation buildings. So let's go ahead and go with more dwellings. I don't want to dwell on those for too long. <laughs> the light burns strong. Burn. Let the light burn. I love the voice acting in this game, too. Ready when you are. The lions are definitely pretty cool. Very They're well. all like that virtuous, like, uh, you know, I'm the I'm the final line between sanity and darkness. It's, it's all very much like uh, the darkest dungeon, those type of games. Love that. All right, we got some houses up, which means we got extra workers, which means we should probably then build another. Oh, Our defenses sir, are sir. under attack. Rude. Strong. I can't believe it. Would you believe that an enemy is attacking our base? That is ridiculous. An outrage. An outrage. 
I want to voice one of the characters in this game. That'd be cool. I stand prepared. That guy sounds really cool. <laughs> he sounds Speak. like Geralt. Geralt? Geralt of Rivia? You know what I'm talking about. All right, let's go kick some ass. All right, well, good news is we got some more stone here, so that's why we built quarries before. The quarry, luckily, is the same building for Ready whether you're gathering uh, gold or whether you're gathering iron. So we're going to keep on trucking with that. I'm also going to see if we can get a training hall up, which is going to require more quarries. Also, archers require yeah. quarries, too, in order to uh, make uh, arrows for their bows. So we definitely need some more quarry workers going. What is it? And we must expand our lands. I go. Raptoria must grow. All right, let's see. Anything down here? Oh, yep. Look at these narrow passages. They're not too bad. They're maybe like uh, eight tiles wide or so. Not bad. What do you want? Now, by the way, if you're getting a little anxiety or whatnot from the TikTok... Oh, God, that's a triggering word for me. From the uh, clock constantly going in the background, if you hear it... Tick -tick 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 -tick, that basically means that it's nighttime. And uh, you can see there are like these three little... Uh, in the upper right corner, these little squares. That one will turn red now, yeah. So we've got what's known as the uh, the Death Knight, which is when we'll, we'll be attacked by a massive horde. That'll come in a few nights. Now, the nights increase. It'll go three, and then I think like five, and then maybe eventually eight, and then maybe ten uh, additional nights. Uh, but it gets insane. What now? The amount of hordes that'll attack us up to 2,000, 4,000 type Ready. level of troops is going to be insane. This guy's Light under attack. Let's get down there and help him out. Okay, so let's see, we're at their maximum amount of wood. We're trying to generate more stone. We need to find iron. I need to get uh, troops up. There's a lot I need to do. There's also an upgrade tree for our melee troops, our range skill, and siege skill. Uh, but again, we're we going to gloss over a lot defiance. of stuff quickly. As I'm, I'm just going to try to pull off a W, but it will come out as a loss. I'm like, I'm, I'm predicting it now. It's going to be a big L. But dude, I love this game because no matter how many times I fail and mistakes I make, I want to play it again and again. Might be a sign of a good game, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe. Perhaps. Okay, I want to make some more... Uh, oh, there we go. Finally, a training hall. I want to make some more troops. So let's build that maybe here. Actually, that's good farmland. Damn, everywhere is good farmland. Should build it closer to the base, though. So let's build it right there. That's closer. Hi. And we'll have to figure out where the enemy is going to attack from. We shall not now, typically, waver. chat was saying that the enemy, usually, like they do in their billions, will attack from the smallest defenses that you have, the weakest point of your line. Now, at the beginning here, here. it's not very easy to build defenses in the north, south, east, and west when within three days and also man them with troops. The ashes. So you're kind of going to kind of be a, in, in what we call a bad times. It's gonna be bad times for a while. <laughs> Oh, let's keep running that XP for the boys. There we go. Make way. Love that hero, by the way. He's got some big ass range with that great sword. He can like dig all the way to the back of the enemy line. It's really good. Okay, we're gonna need some more troops up. We have twelve, so we can make some more uh, troops. But I'm gonna need another farm. We're gonna have to build a laboratory soon. Uh, let's try to build that farm there. I'm going to try to make as I many archers as prepared. we can to fill those lines. There's a lot of troops here. Enemy troops. What are these things? I, I wish I could click on them and see what they were. I wish there was like an image or something. Like with our troops, you can see they're, they're based off like Scandinavian lore or something. Oh, nice. And one of our troops is emboldened, which basically means they're a veteran now. And they can dish out as much damage as possible and also take a little bit more damage. Damage. Wait, what was that word again? Damage! Yes, thank you. All right. Uh, let's see. Defense is here. There's an opening. Oh, actually, no. So we would need one defense, two defense, three defenses, maybe. Archer ready. Let's keep digging these boys Forward. out of here. Digging deep in enemy territory. Damn, another point of interest. That's fantastic. We need areas to store that, though. Uh, we're maxed down on wood, so I definitely need to make some defenses. There's no joke about it. I should really not be wasting this much time. I do Archer need the line ready. of sight, though. Yeah, so let's get the archers down here. For me. Come on down, ladies. Ready to face the dark. Eradicate them. <laughs> Alright, another smart thing to do, of course, is to try to build a V with archer towers. We'll try to build this out a little further. Um, you know, I'm not going to do that here. Archer ready. So I can just build to that rock. We can build double lines here. But we're just going to build some defenses Get to keep, on with it. keep out the darkness. 
eradicate them. Perfect. Good job, everybody. All right, we got archers up there. So the enemy gets a little um, aggro towards the night. They get a little curious and start kind of wandering into your base. Yes. So it's a good idea to the first couple of nights maybe to spread out some troops Proceed if you can, with purpose. just to kind of keep uh, you know the bad boys out, and also juicy XP if you get any kills. All right, let's build another tower here. Archer ready. Uh, build a wall there and a gate. Tab to rotate. There we go. What are Whoa, you on? didn't want to put you on that side, lady. I'm on it. There we go. All right, so when we figure out where the enemy's going to attack from, that's when I'll build towers. Um, let's keep the archers somewhat nearby. Scouting ahead. There you go. So points of interest are basically areas that we have to capture, similar to how it is in the current Age of Empires for uh, beta, where you need to clear out the enemy from that area and then eventually capture it. Then those boxes there will pop open, giving us tons of supplies. And with those supplies, then we'll be able to uh, put those into our coffers. Oftentimes, though, they give you a lot of stuff that you can't store at the moment, so it'll basically be wasted. Ooh, that's a hell of an enemy. Pull the hell away from that. Step towards the abyss. Let's build some towers then. Oh, rude. Our defenses are under attack. All right, go attack those guys. Yes. Okay, kill that guy. I serve. Oh, we need to watch out for this ranged attacker. A flicker yeah. in the dark. This is not a good guy to take on at the beginning here. Speak. Get him. On my way. There we go. He'll do some damage to our hero. That thing's like a spider with a ranged AoE attack, and yeah, it can horrify your troops. So one of our troops there, you noticed, is now purple, and that means that he's horrified, which I believe slows him down and slows down also his, um, what do you call it, like his attack rate, rate of attack or whatever, uh, DPI, whatever you want to call it. Basically, he's slower and not as efficient, so... Uh, when the storm closes in soon, all the areas that we don't actually have line of sight on will also uh, become areas that will affect our troops negatively. And so, though you can build anywhere you want in this game by just basically having troops there, eventually, um, if you lose sight of that, if you build out too far, you can be cut off and stranded. And that's, uh, as they say in French, no bueno. Especially if they speak Spanish. Okay, let's see. We're going to build some more troops. I I'm want ready. some ladies going north. Okay, the enemy attack will come tomorrow. We're going to keep keep on building here. Keep on keeping on. Ooh, nice. We could build like a little gate here. Archer ready. Uh, that's a good spot to build right what there. Now? And, of course, I I at the start, we can, I think, upgrade our uh, gates about three times. Like I think there's three levels or more of upgrades in this game. Um, but if you double down, you can, you can build... Double and triple layer walls and stuff. Also, an auto repair button that I just clicked. All right, we're trying to get a ton of archers up to cover our ass wherever we can. And we need more gold. And I think that means we're low on troops. Uh, not low on troops, but low on uh, houses. And yes, that seems to be the case. Nice troop count in the upper left corner, too. You can see our troop numbers, our veterancy of our uh, current hero. Got something for me. Heroes can also die in this game, though they can be resurrected. Where you just kind of—it's a kind of a cooldown. Once they are downed, you just need to wait about 30 seconds, or Ready not 30 seconds, about 200 seconds, and then they'll come on back. I don't know if that increases for the amount of times that they're downed, or if it uh, is based on like the um, length of uh, time you've been in game. But anyway, let's build some more houses now. Some houses, bud, as they say in uh, Sweden. Svaria, hey ya Svaria. Yog, tell us more, Svenska. Min Svenska into bro. Um, what do you want? But good to have you here. Taxi Nice to have you watching. Yeah. All right, let's see. Only real Swedes know what I just said, by the way. And I think I said something along the lines of click or tap that subscribe Alrighty. button. Turn on the notification bell. Almost two million subs. Thanks for being here. You guys are awesome. Dude, I'm happy. You see, I'm, I'm chipper. I'm very chipper today. I'm really enjoying this game. All right, let's see. So we've got a population of 10. I still... Oh, I need to build a, a thingy down here. Let's send up a... I need somebody to go up there. Rather Silent. down there. We'll send the uh, slow trooper. I think these uh, effects will eventually wear off if they've got the nightmare negative effect. I'm not sure, though. 
But there are uh, flame things that you can light in order to I... perk them up. Towers give increased range, uh, line of sight and range for the attack. Also, uh, every time you defeat what's known as the uh, Death Knight, you do get a perk that you can't necessarily yes. research. It's something presented to you at random that you can choose to have. Our buildings are under attack. Very rude. No, I think we've dealt with that threat. Okay. Uh, build our tower here. Or our wall, I guess. Gate and wall here. There we go. Aye. Aye. Tracking. Okay, there we go. Wow, this is probably the best I've done in this game. After playing for about four hours and getting some uh, tactics down and de-rusting of all my other times playing, uh, they are billions. I'm really feeling confident here, but I am confident about my own death and wild incompetence. Again, active pause is definitely a thing. And if you've skipped to the middle of the video so far, make sure you jump back to the beginning where I'm sure you're already commenting that, uh, is this, they are billions? Got something for me. <laughs> yes, it's very much inspired by that. It must be hard for developers today, by the way, to like be, um, you know, to be developers because it's like, imagine trying to make a game without being inspired by any other games. Like imagine going your whole life avoiding other games and then what now? being a game dev. It's like, it's impossible not to be inspired by such masterpieces like what do you want? They are Billions, or Stronghold, or Age of Empires, or even uh, Warcraft 3, which some people were mentioning that it remembered, reminded them of that, and they remembered that game, so that's cool. Alright, so we've got ready. two passes in the south, one in the east, and two kind of in the north, although one's direct north and one's kind of northeast. Our defenses are under attack. No, they're not, man. They're fine. Okay. Let's build another wall. So I don't think we'll know until about, oh boy, I think it's, they only give you about like a two or three minute warning before the enemy attacks on the final night. So you really don't, they're, they're really not nice to you in this game, which is cool. Like it's, if you like Dark Souls brutality and you like city builder games or like defense builder games, this is for you. And yeah, let's build some more uh, troop, people guy, people thingies, yes, archers. And we need more cash, oh boy. This is not a bad start. Uh, this is probably a better start than I've ever done because I'm also very smart now in terms of building multiple defenses. You want to build multiple checkpoints uh, instead of just deleting the defenses behind you. It's always a good idea to have one final defense I'm behind ready. you just in case. You never know. If a couple enemies break through and there was a huge battle but 20 break through, you could still hold them back with these defenses well. or more. Alright, excellent. Looking real good here. We want to continue pumping out the troops. We need some more food here. I want to get my research site up. That'll require a bunch more wood. I think we should definitely gather some more wood here. Uh, cash is the uh, restriction so far. Uh, yeah. So obstacles like water and mountains and things of trees will block the enemy from moving. And these can never be uh, depleted, by the way. If you build a lumber mill near the what do you want? forest, it will never actually cut the forest down. I also haven't seen any... Uh, buildings for fishing, Aye. which is a little disappointing because there's plenty of water around. Would be nice to get another uh, something for me. food source or something like that, but anyway, let's get yes. an archer there and there. So good, we're, ooh, and we're pissing them off. Good, we're bringing them right in. Clearing them out so we can get Our to those points of interest. Are under attack. I serve. So the first point of interest we want to go to is probably down there. Getting archers up first though so we can actually build some wall defenses wherever the enemy may come from. We can also shift these defenses, so if uh, the enemy is attacking here, then we can definitely uh, shift all of our archers here and build like a double or triple layer defense, just like a delicious uh, Taco Bell burrito. Although that costs cash, so we definitely want to make sure we're continuously working on that. All right, a crystal has ready. become unstable in the lower left corner, so our attacks will come from down here. I'm here. We definitely want to make sure we double up on those defenses then. So we're going to build some gates here. And we've got about 3 minutes, 51 seconds, so less than 5 minutes to prep. We'll build another gate here. Archer ready. And a wall here with some more towers between. And we definitely need to get some more houses down, too. Damn, that gold. From the ashes. How much is it to make uh, additional... Ah, yes, we have better units here, too. The uh, Sentinel and the... Arbalest, which is basically like a crossbowman, which has got really good range, knockback, and a few other perks for, especially dealing with elite units. You can also find a, uh, elite now? units in the field, too, by going to those points of interest, so we might actually find some allies, though I'd rather have the materials than Ready when troops. Alright, let's go down here. 
where is our mm. other guy? Oh, there he is. Right. We'll have to research some of the things to on to remove his debuff. But with the enemy coming, we're going to just have to prepare for fun. All right, we're maxed out on wood again. Let's double up on those layers. I ain't taking no chances down here. Hell no. Of course, it takes gold to do that. Archer ready. So that'll take away from our archers a little bit, but we should be okay. Two minutes, 30 seconds remaining on their attack. Good. Every, every wall is uh, set up nicely. These will be like our final defenses, which should be rather weak. We want to keep pushing more of the forces to the front line. <laughs> it's just a bundle of wood, like someone just dumping it off. How careless. A typical Raptorian defense. I'm ready. All right, we should have enough for another tower. Aye. And we'll get up there in a moment. Let's get another archer there, 175. Okay. Well, luckily we'll be pretty solid on our first defense. They will beat the hell out of that wall. But we've gone for more wall and less um, troops, so we'll let them kind of, you know, wear themselves out, you know? And we could also shift some forces, but I think at this moment we could probably take a minute, 36 seconds, to get enough uh, money and stuff to, to get some more troops in there. So you can see the white line underneath, by the way, is the construction. The building is a little bit of health while it's building, but then full health once it's constructed. Which I think it should go up while it's building. But I guess it gives the enemy a chance to knock it down. Alright, we want more archers. What? Alright, not bad for our initial... Recon. We found two great points of interest. We can upgrade our keep to hold more of that stuff. We're going to need a lot of cash, so the upgrade to what I think is called a, um, a braced keep is 450 gold, 50 wood or timber or lumber, whatever gotcha, you want to call ready. it, and then also stone and food, which we've got, so we just need to hold on to the cash. And with an impending attack, I suppose we'll hold on. Got something for me. And see how it goes. All right, ladies, into those towers. Actually, you know what? Screw that. Sound I'm going to add some more. Horns. All right, here they come. Approaches. 40 seconds until enemy troops approach. Archer ready. Should probably build down here, too. The enemy could swing south. The enemy could go right into this area. Even worse, the enemy could go all the way over here, somehow making their way to this lower tower, which we have not prepared at all. And we just don't have the budget for, like, all the troops. We just kind of got to roll them, roll them dice. Archer ready. Actually, ma'am, let's get you over here. Out. There we go. Let's get you both in there. And then let's keep going with those troops. So, buck 75 for the archers, plus I think another, what was it, 140? Oh, here we go. Boom. Now, the goal eventually is to go back to that location after the enemy attacks. Oh, look at that. Uh, player units killed by nightmares have a 10% chance to re be reanimated. Oh, damn. So they could be zombified by the enemy. They get a negative boost, too. 150 enemies attacking now. Here they come. Hold the line. Glory to Raptoria down below in the comment section. This is it, boys. Let's get our troops into that tight corridor. Luckily, enemy troops can't pass through the gate, even if it's open. And let's go for our defenses. We need a buck fifty. And they're going exactly where I was hoping. Excellent. We got lucky. Our buildings are under attack. Oh, the towers have some great range. Could be some stragglers coming over this way. Alright, they're breaking through a bit of the wall. Hold on, hold on. Okay, now push them. Alright, fall back. No, 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 get back inside. Except for the hero unit, he can go out there. Alright, they're breaking through a bit. But we're alright, down to 41. Yes. 
I think these units even heal faster too, the emboldened ones, so they're they're definitely good. If our troops at all went into this uh, toxic smoke, which seems to be like uh, Chernobyl's reactor, our troops get that negative effect. All right, cool. Budget Carpenter. All new buildings cost 15% less resources. Damn, that is amazing. Let's go with that one. That is probably the best perk I've seen. That is that is the best perk I've ever seen, actually. That is an interesting dice roll. Wow, that is, that is massive. All right, well, let's get these buildings uh, completed. So, no, unfortunately, the upgrades cost the same, as it said, now? but... There we go. All right, let's repair our towers. It costs a little bit extra wood. Get on with it. Good work, everybody. Very proud of our troops. Excellent. All right, let's get ready to maneuver down towards Fear this point of interest. And we want to keep our defenses armed a bit because... Got something for me. Of course, uh, they're very important to Aye. maintain those walls. We'll keep two troops at each wall. At least. And that's really good to make sure that they just don't harass the walls. We'll get all of our infantry over there. One thing I've noticed in this game, too, is sometimes the pathfinding... The, the troops, unfortunately, like to take the longest way. Uh, if you tell them to, like, go from here to here, they'll try to go out into enemy territory and get killed. So there's a little bit of babysitting at the moment. But again, remember, the developers may watch this video, too. So much love. You guys are doing a great job. And uh, hopefully that they make that a little bit better and kind of learn from feedback of uh, watching how it responds and whatnot to make it even... Um, better. Although it looks like in this case I built a tower literally in front of the gate. I thought our troops Ready could squeeze the dark. through there, but I guess they're a little too thick, so we'll have to move that tower over. Which is okay. Let's go ahead and get we rid of it. Shall not wait. Upgrade complete. Alright, let's get those new buildings constructed. Repairs going. Nice. So the towers cost a little bit less. That's a good bonus. I serve. And uh, stone is our biggest um, item right now. Got our got the most amount of materials for that. Nice to have the archers with. They can continuously provide uh, ranged attacks. It's nice. Get some more troops up. Excellent. These troops are both uh, fully upgraded too. Now you see the circle has turned red. Oh boy. So that means that we're in the zone. But the enemy is too. Ladies, hit that thing. Oh, God, get out of there. Oh. Ooh, he has a chance to, like, wound everybody. Not good. Elite Nightmare Discovered. All right, there's yes. an elite enemy unit out there somewhere. Okay, we're going to have to get some of our perks up now, if we can. I want to try to build the storehouse, which requires more people. Let's build a couple houses, to which we need more food. Yeah. Pull back, please. Yeah, let's go ahead and build some more food gathering buildings. Seven's not great. Nine is a bit better. We'll go with ten there. That's even better. And this is bountiful even though it says zero, so I'm assuming it'll go up to eleven. I stand prepared. I will be your end. Alright, let's keep pushing the enemy out of here. This is Raptorian territory, sir. Sirs. Possible. Madams and creatures and things and its and whatever else you are. <laughs> Ghouls and goblins. Embers guide me. Let's get our troops up to the north. Night approaches. So now we have four knights what? until the next one. Capturing the zone. It? Sir, you're crazy. Get back up here. Boy, well, those swordsmen can't keep out of a fight, can they? Excellent, we have iron. Lots of iron. A little bit of wood. That's not a big deal. I want I want the iron though. Perfect. There's also a perk to increase the amount of drops that you get from those buildings too. Light the way. Who are these people? Oh, they're uh, swordsmen. Alright, come back to the base. The base is defended. Uh, we have a lack of people to work that building. And so now we should be able to build some more houses. Our defenses are under attack. Indeed they are. Got something for me. Alright, so the enemy even has ranged attackers, in this Very case, well. uh, spearmen or javelins. I'm ready. And we're gonna have to get rid of these debuffs what eventually. Now? 
when we research it. We're getting more people here. So I think in order to get our laboratory up, I think we need uh, 20 people. No, just 10. 20 is the advanced one, or I think it's also the warehouse. Okay, we'll build our research site here. Ready to so that'll allow us to advance our research into defensive buildings and also uh, more research buildings to research even more research. So it's our laboratory to research research. <laughs> Researching research will be underway. Ah, that must be the elite unit there. Great. We're going to need some more elite units to take out that elite unit. I think they can also wander around, so we'll see. All right, wood is pretty good at the moment, plus 33 income, though I want more. And uh, we have no iron. Iron kind of looks like a shiny blue on the map. We can also find gold that way, too. But it must, it's much more further away from the base. Got so the most important thing to do is to continuously build up our military, but more importantly, get that research done. So we'll continue to... Uh, we're going to need food... Uh, but, of course, once we research our research, we should be able to get better farms that can then replace the current farms. I think in the moment we probably want to push down here. This is a really good spot there to defend down that corridor. I am here. So this is a good area for farm territory. Constantly in a bottleneck, and the most that the enemy will destroy is a farm. You can see our troops are much slower. I think there's a lot of debuffs for the Nightmare. I just don't know exactly what they all are. Also, the enemy is likely not to attack in the same place again, so they've kind of attacked in the west here. They may attack directly south or east or north this time. So, luckily, we've got uh, some materials on standby for that. And the biggest thing we have to spend for this is research. Let's go with lodges now so we can get that research. Or rather, uh, we, stand in defiance. we will research homes so we can get the population up for more troops. From the ashes. Let's pull back a little bit and keep on attacking. Ready. All right. And we can continue to build towers and then upgrade them as time goes along. Let's also rebuild the wall here and here. My bet is we're going to be attacked up here. Try to build a space for towers there. The more compact, the better, because then the towers can Ready shoot you over each other and fire at the attacks uh, at the at the attackers in the back. Okay, research is nearing completion. The dark encroaches. Nice to have that building bonus, isn't it? Okay, we need more wood. More wood is needed. Upgrade complete. Wow, full of ten, that's good. Ready for action. Okay, let's go over for the farms next. We need money for that. And boom, there it is. Okay, let's get a couple upgrades going. There we go. And we uh, unfortunately can't upgrade our current buildings to farms. Uh, the tier two building has to be reconstructed, but then it can be upgraded once more through the research. So we'll kind of have to demol demolish what we have and then reconstruct it again. No, 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 no. Oh boy. Yeah. That really weakens our swordsmen. Get on. Luckily now, everybody who fights near our uh, our guy here, Edwin, wielder of the flame. We'll get uh, a little upgrade extra, complete. A little extra bonus. Step towards the abyss. Okay. Let's get some more uh, soldiers going. And yeah, we can get some Ready. more towers going too. We'll start with two towers. We can do another line here. Uh, if the enemy attacks Ready in the north, action. they could come through here to this tower. Oh yeah, actually that that one might work double duty. That's good though. Upgrade complete. Speak. Let's get those uh, booties though. I go. Ready to face. Let's see if he can work his uh, in flame yet. Nope. That allows him to basically light all the enemy combatants on fire, and it kind of works like a Molotov. Pull back these two. I'm on it. What? You guys need to be far in the back. 
from the ashes. He'll be alright on his own for a minute. Onward. Massive AoE attack on him. I wonder night two now. We stand defiance. Get him, bro. That's right, de defiance for sure, bro. Get him. Cut them down. Hit him in the face with that defiance. Hell yeah. Hi. Uh, enemy somewhere. Oh, there. Scouting ahead. Nope. And we're near that previous crystal, so if we actually capture that area, there's these little red crystals from that that we can utilize for, what do you want? I think, tier 3 upgrades. Great. Forward. Definitely want the iron. Stone we're at max on. But that's okay, it's only 9. It's not, not that big of a deal. As you wish. Okay. Let's upgrade the uh, keep if we can. 60 for that. No. Nope. The light burns strong. But we have a bigger capacity. Uh, let's upgrade houses instead, which needs food. So let's get rid of these old buildings. Takes a little bit of time to get uh, uh, these upgraded. Oh, but look at that food though. 23. Is that a 24 there? Damn. Great upgrade. Really good stuff. Our defenses are under attack. Are they really? The enemy wouldn't do that. I know them. They would never attack. Hi. Not unless they wanted to declare war. Nice. Well, let's keep pumping out those uh, archers now. Ready. Nope. Won't be doing that anytime soon. Damn, there's a hell of a lot of tight defenses here, which means they need to be layered. A bigger wall means that we could spread the enemy thin across a very large surface area and deal with it with a lot of towers later on but for now it's uh, bad times buku bad times as they say in spain i am here especially if they speak french okay well enemies are inbound building construction completed badass oh we need research done too let's go with the um the fire sconce to get rid of these uh, negative effects on some mm. of our troops it's gonna get worse if we don't deal with it now some of the archers may still already have that um, but I think we gotta like get them out of the towers to check. Got something for me. It's a little bit of a tedious job, I think. Very well. But it's for balancing purposes that you just don't throw archers in a tower and then they're suddenly uh, the debuff is removed. Speak. Huh? Okay, we should be getting more XP, but we've got both of those points of interest. I want to push towards that uh, that red crystal there. Get on with it. So let's get our troops down there. I want to push. Right. We have a couple days remaining. And we should upgrade some more houses then. Now we got more food. And we can do another sale of a building here, and we'll get another advanced farm here. Oh, we need a line of sight though. Good idea to leave a couple of troops around the base just in case somebody breaks through, or to remove uh, any sort of problems with line of sight. What now? Unfortunately, you two need to go back. All right, I'm going. I feel like the base should be the also a uh, remover of debuff. I don't know what you call that. Debuff the debuff, whatever you want to call it. Upgrade that. complete. Upgrade complete. Fantastic. Start giving me uh, braced walls, please. And then I'll build that sconce. Uh, let's see. Oh, we actually have a good spot for uh, mining there. Not mining, but uh, yes. logging. Tree mining. <laughs> Ooh, 27, 28, damn. 29? Wow. We'll go with that and plop it down. That's amazing. Unfortunately, we have to make up for the negative 10 of destroying the other building, so it's really just 19. We'll end up in the positive, but... Build another farm, 26. Seems pretty good. There we go. I'm ready. Nice job. Man, am I loving this game. The ashes. This is fantastic, man. Proceed with purpose. I feel like some of these troops are, like, negative already. All right, let's build this damn sconce and get the... Oh, actually, going back to the HQ removes that. Good. All right, let's get everybody back to the base just to make sure. Okay, we can definitely get upgrades for our troops. We're going to need that. Let's go with an upgrade for the archers to have a higher damage. You can only pick one, by the way. You can either go down Eyesight, Fury, or Tactical. And I just like to cause a ton of that. Damage! Damage! damage, damage. damage. That's a lot of damage! Yes, that's what I would like Upgrade to cause. complete. Thank you. Very good. Yeah. Alright, another farm is up, bringing us up to, damn, plus 35. 
That means more troops. And more workers, too. We have a little gap there. Yeah, good idea to build uh, gaps between your homes and housing blocks and stuff because, of course, the enemy, uh, if they attack, you'll need to be able to move, uh, maneuver through those areas. So let's build another defense here. I don't know if the enemy will come from here, but always a good idea just to have defenses ready just in case. All right. And we've researched uh, the building upgrade, okay. Or the walls. Let's go with the uh, brace tower. Good thing about the tower, too, is it can hold an extra soldier, an extra archer, or whomever. I don't know if this game has gunpowder or not. Look at the buildings, though, damn. I love that, man. I love the little buildings. I feel like I want a 3D model of this or something for the people who can do... Um, you know, 3D printing, that'd just be badass to print that out and paint that one day. That would be... S a lot of these buildings... This would be cool, man. I'd love to see these buildings. That quarry really reminds me of uh, what I loved I about serve. Stronghold, too. It reminds me of the Stronghold quarry, so that's great. Swiftly. Good stuff. All right, let's go grind some XP down here. I have a feeling the enemy's going to come from either the right side or the north side, but maybe not the northeast. Northwest, I mean. Night approaches. And we'll upgrade those towers later. We can always upgrade the towers. Great to have the bounty on food. Let's get rid of one of these buildings again. Upgrading our farms. There's this particular pacing to this game, too, that you just got to kind of get a feel to. I remember that being the difficult part of uh, They Are Billions for me, too, where it's like you, you want to expand and conquer the map, but you don't want to do it qu too quickly. You want to be able to defend your claims, but you don't want to upgrade complete. stay in your initial area for too long. Otherwise, it's bad times. You're going to... You're gonna, you're gonna have uh, what we call a at, at uh, bad experience at Taco Bell and not not a Baja Blast. You want to have a Baja Blast, or at least fear for your life every day and night in this game. All right, our hero is upgraded to three. The Fantastic. Light the way. Everybody, get down there. Get those get those numbers up. These are rookie numbers. Okay, pull back a bit. Let's. Bring a few over. Strike with purpose. Nice work. Hey, that's purpose. iron down there. That's iron deposit. That is depositively fantastic. Get him, boys. I'm on it. Okay, keep cutting them down. Stand as one. Damn right. Nice job, everyone. Damn, look at those bodies, bro. They're just getting decimated. What do you want? With a capital decimated. I stand prepared. Not even a decimal, a, a comma. Ready to face the dark. Those are big numbers. Right, good work, everybody. Okay, let's see. I need more archers for the walls for our eventual defenses. No matter where we build them. And always a good idea to build the towers anyway. Although we can only do the uh, one tier two. I serve. All right, good job, everybody. Make way for Prince Ali again. Another corpse for the pyre. Damn right. Remove them immediately. The best buy is not opened until eight to seven thirty, sir. Return to your vehicle. Archer ready. Ready. All right, cleaning them out again. Nice area for defense here. We stand in defiance. Excellent. Push, guide me. Archer ready. Okay, good. Well, now we have access to iron, which we desperately strong. needed. The problem is we need to connect this via several claims along mm. the way. Or take the risk and just kind of cut this off and hope that it uh, holds if the enemy doesn't attack. Not in the lumberyard. Low deposit, but it's all we got, and we need it. So let's build a gate around here so we can defend it. And we'll build a nice... Uh, 
from the ashes. little wall around here. Now, typically the enemy, mm, it's about 50-50 whether or not they attack this. And if they don't, great. If they do, uh, it, you know, it just gets decimated. But it'll slow the enemy I'm down ready. when they finally come over to, uh, you know, attack your Moving main base. Yeah, all right. Need more wood now. Plus 43 is good, though. We got 11 for the troops. Give me more archers, please. What? So, yes, when the storm comes in, all this area here that's gray rather than black, the black and gray areas, areas we don't have line of sight on, will uh, then become a big problem for us having to clear out enemy troops there eventually. Ready. We'll return to that area. Speak. And they're going to be a pain in the ass. But that's fine. I am here. Let's pull the archers back and set them up in a ready to face the dark defensive position. What is it? We got to find out where the enemy is yes? going to be, so we should probably send them back to the base. Moving. So it seems like the main HQ can re uh, remove debuffs. The last retreat of your people, if this is lost, it's game over, heals horror effects. Ah, yes, so it does say that in the description. Damn. A lot of games, by the way, will not, not do a good ready. job of uh, telling you about all the extra things that some of the perks will do. Like what special buildings will do, and this game does it nicely. A lot of games just kind of forget what some of their bonuses do. I serve. But this game explains it very well. Got something for me. All right, ladies, come on down here. I stand prepared. That building may get randomly attacked by one or two dudes coming over, so we do need to defend that. And the archers need to keep on coming. We'll save up wood for a while. Uh, we also have a... F we need more food. Uh, well, to be turned into lodges. We need more people, basically. I need to get our population up to 20 so I can get a storage area so we can sit and float on a bunch of... Um, Archer materials ready. so that way it's much easier to build a defense when we know where the enemy's coming from. If suddenly we knew they were coming direct south, then we'd know we could dump a ton of materials in there. And the more you can sit on, the better. Much easier. What now? Good job, ladies. By the way, note the uh, yellow banners that pop up on the towers when they're occupied. It's a good little we stand in defiance. visual cue to let you know it's occupied. The light burns strong. So that way you know it's defended, but also you know that you can pull troops out of there if you need to transfer them. We shall not waver. Alright, the final night before attack two. Attack two is much more brutal than the first. But we'll see how the enemy attacks us. Yeah, these troops are cutting through. On my way. Attack! And after defeating the troops. Enemies on night two, we get uh, extra bonuses, so that's good. I go. All right, pull back, boys. Okay, please give me some more archers. Definitely need more archers. I stand prepared. And we definitely need more uh, warriors too. I would like to build another uh, barracks building, but. Uh, Aye. If we continuously pump out troops, that'll be good enough. Why, right, this will be the final ready. night before the big attack. As you wish. We gotta learn where they're coming from. And start beefing up those defenses. They come from, let's say up here, we've doubled up. This one needs to be doubled up too. Archer let's ready. double up. We make this our front line here. Build some more brace towers. And we'll build another line. Dude, look at the little effect on the screen, how it, like, rotates a bit. There's been a lot of love put into this game. I see all the details and stuff from the devs just kind of putting in a little thing here and there. The splash screen is impressive. It'll move in the background and stuff. And though that might seem like a small thing, I always feel like developers who have time to add a little extra this and that usually have made a pretty damn good game. And they just want us to, like, play it to find all the bugs and things that are broken so Get they can fix it. Get on with it. Uh, a lot of things come out now incomplete and whatnot, but I don't, I don't, I, I feel like this game is incomplete, of course, ready. it's early access, but, uh, with hope, Silent. hope for more to come, you know? I'm Let's ready. get a few archers down there. Alright, my hope is that they attack from the, uh, I don't know, north. I don't know, wherever they attack from, I guess we're ready. 
Our buildings are under attack. Archer ready. Okay, that building's looking good. Oh, sirs. Something for me. Very rude. Forward. We'll get up there and deal with that yes. problem. Oh, that's gonna be an expensive repair. Oh well. I am here. Let's us know that that building is not gonna last for long. Ready when you are. All right, daybreak approaches. This is our last chance to build. Prepare your defenses, and they're coming from the south. I serve. And that is one defense here that we have to hold with two layers of defense. So we better make sure we're on the ball here. We stand in defiance. Fear not the shadow path. All right, let's get everything repaired. Upgrade these towers to tier three. The light burns strong. Let's spend some money on upgrades. Give me the brace gate, please. I need more stone mines, but unfortunately, this is all we've been able to muster. That means the enemy's coming from down here. Looks like there's an exit here, so they'll probably rush this way. Could hit this fortress here. That area will fall. What do you want? More than likely. Ready to face the dark. Okay, let's get some more upgrades to our towers. We're also sitting on a lot of wood, so we'll do a lot of basic tier one defense. That'll eat into our cash, unfortunately. Could build another tower here, but I'm gonna space it out. A Upgrade bit. complete. Another gate, I mean. More towers, more defense. Eh. Let our troops wait on the inside. What? Could do another upgrade. 20 stone required for that. That's some hefty upgrades. Yes. Upgrade complete. Unlikely that the enemy will swing around and attack anywhere else. So this is it. Our final attack for today. Got something for me. See, we can hold Lord Raptoria down below in the comment section. You know we can do this. I am here. And again, I'm pretty I... sure about 99.9% .9 that if the gate is open, it's just the the enemy cannot pass through an open gate. It's just for our, only our troops, non nerds. What now? We're gonna stop all these pog lads. You notice all those pog lads down below in the comment section from all of my members spamming those? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're gonna stop them. They're excited about a giveaway that we've been doing on the Discord, by the way, for this game. Hopefully I get some more keys to give away to all of you. If you haven't joined, link's down below in the description. Never miss out on those streams again, dude. I thank you guys immensely for your time and hanging out, so make sure you uh, jump on and get some of those awesome links for new games and stuff. I'm going to go ahead and pull back uh, an archer from here. I want two ready archers at each, each point. I want everybody down here ready to go. We're going to keep dumping uh, points and upgrades into these towers. We need more stone, though. This isn't going to be Upgrade enough. Upgrade complete. But we can still build standard towers. These have all what upgraded. Nice. Hmm. Oh, that's right. To build a new tower. I forgot all about our, our perk. It's actually more affordable for us to build a new tower than it is to upgrade an existing. Isn't that interesting? Forgot all about I'm it. Ready. Swiftly. Okay, so we got nine troops here plus another two the there. Grows stronger. Here it comes, forty seconds. Prepare yourselves. Let's double up that wall. Build a gate here if we can. Double gate. Dude, this game's really lenient with the amount of crap they let you get away with. <laughs> The amount of, like, uh, stuff that you can build is pretty cool. And build another tower here. And here. Here come the nerds. 12 seconds. Bring on the nerds. Yes? Got something for me. Oh, it's, it's tight space back there. And here they come. And they're off. 
Look at all those troops that spawn. Resource gatherers' earnings reduced by 50%. Oh boy, not great. Gonna double up, triple up on those thicknesses. Enemy will be here, 600 in total. We will see if they run over our quarry down there. We can always rebuild it, damn it. But it did bring in a bit of steel for us. Looks like the enemy is... Was going to ignore that. Actually, this is great. Our we, defenses are under attack. We may lose that position, but the enemy has actually diverted some of their troops over here. Which is perfect for our main defense. Hi. What now? All right, get out there, boys. Tear them apart. Damn straight. Oh, yeah, they're distracted. This actually is a blessing in disguise. Use your sword of fire. Pulling troops off the line as necessary. Pull back. All right, let the defenses do the work. Unfortunate sacrifice. Sacrifices must be made. Left. Get on. Our defenses are under attack. Hold the line, boys. Hold back those nerds. Yeah. You're in, shipped out. Oh, we lost a man, no. Hold. That's right, we'll get him back shortly. That is a very thin area to defend. That's a lot of pressure on that line. Let's see if we can fight, fight our way back. All right, pull. Pull back. And down to 17, nice. All right, our hero will be back in 200 seconds. And there we go. Daybreak approaches. More archers ready to go. Fantastic. All right, a new blessing. On Sightly, Nightmare Fuel are truly blessed. Champion gains twice as much XP. Units fully heal when they're horrified. All buildings increase radius of vision. Yeah, let's go with that. All right, we got to reclaim that quarry yes. down there. But that is it for my time today. Thank you, everybody, for joining me. I love this game. I'm coming back for more. I'm just playing this for fun. So I'll see you guys next time for more of Age of Darkness final defense final stand it's a it's a hell of a game i love it i'll see you next time goodbye everyone take care round of applause cool all right see you